JLo is responding to her lackluster concert ticket sales and the fact that the entire internet hates her. Welcome to Popcorn Planet. I am Andy Signor, and my goodness, the hate for J-Lo is strong on the internet. I never really had an issue with J-Lo, but I gotta be honest, all these clips on TikTok, all these haters, we talked about it a little bit yesterday as well. Uh, <laughs> some of the stuff we're learning about her is not helping, uh, but it's very interesting to see her new response to it all. She's definitely putting her PR team out there to try to fight this backlash that she's receiving, and she's receiving a lot of backlash. I found some more to go through with you, so we'll go through those too. But let's look at what Jennifer Lopez is saying regarding all this. She is disappointed over her sales, but is proud of her new projects. She's very focused on her latest project and doesn't want bad press to get in her head, the insider says, referring to Lopez's recent rough patch, including her This Is Me Now tour and record of the same name not performing very well. Source explains that Lopez has been through plenty of problems like this before and has gotten over them, adding, she moves on when things like this happen. And honestly, that's what she should do. She still will be successful, regardless of whatever TikTok and the internet say about her. She's not going to stop. She's got too much of a big brand. She does have fans. Uh, there's plenty she can do, more acting, etc. She'll do just fine. Uh, last month, she raised eyebrows when she canceled several of her shows for her upcoming This Is Me Now tour after week ticket sales. The stops included Nashville, Raleigh, Atlanta, Tampa, right here. I would have gone, but now it's not here. Uh, they were supposed to take place between August, but they were canceled. Musician didn't give any explanation, but obviously the tickets just didn't sell well in those cities. The, we looked at the ticket sales actually in yesterday's video. And uh, New York, the first show is doing well. Second show, not so much. There's a lot of cheap JLo tickets out there, guys. So if you ever wanted to see her, now's your time. This is you now seeing JLo for cheaper than it's ever been. Uh, her record also debuted at the lowest of any of Lopez's albums have ever ranked. It was number 38 on the Billboard, and that's after the big splashy Amazon docuseries and everything was there to try to launch it all. A second source tells uh, us that Lopez is disappointed over the underwhelming response to her tour and album and documentary and movie. It's like four things she's got going on. It's a little uh, over, overkill. A third insider says she's not letting it derail her next ventures. But I mean, it's gonna because investors aren't going to keep investing when they see that's the return. Jennifer is extremely proud of all the hard work she puts into her projects. And Bennett has been a huge support through it all. A third source shares. Um... They're apparently currently house hunting for a new place in New York, and she's working on the new uh, Kiss of the Spider Woman, which is already filming in Jersey. She really doesn't care what others think. I believe that. <laughs> I genuinely believe that. Regarding all of her criticism, uh, Affleck has been keeping her grounded uh, through all the highs and lows. She's already on to her next thing. She's looking for a fresh start. Uh, anyway, it's all very positive, as it should be. There is definitely a lot of backlash against J-Lo, but... She has definitely not helped it. And what's interesting about the age of TikTok, we now live in a place where anybody who's ever met a celebrity can just go out and suddenly share their story. And TikTok creates a venue where everyone's like, ooh, give me more, give me more, give me more. So anybody can get a huge viral smash reacting to an experience they had. And celebrities have lots of experiences. So let's go through some of these experiences. This is one that everybody's talking about. And this woman seems credible. I, I wasn't there. I don't know. But I don't know why she'd make this up. But here's her uh, complaint about J-Lo. story. It's technically not my story. It's my parents. They used to work at one of the casinos uh, in Las Vegas. And uh, Ben and Jennifer came in one day. This was many years ago. This was like before they first broke up. Um, and apparently Ben was super nice, super gracious. My mom said he couldn't have been more kind. And he left a good tip. I don't remember exactly how much it was. I know it was a couple hundred dollars. Um, but I guess J-Lo heard about it. And she came back and took back all of it except for like maybe 10, 15 bucks. And ever since then, I have just had a bad taste in my mouth. So I'm, I'm skipping none of this JLo discourse because I believe it all. It seems believable, and the fact I mean, I, the idea of someone going back and untipping seems like is that even possible? But seems credible, and she's not the only one who said such a thing. There's so much more, she and it's so she worse. Doesn't let, she doesn't like people to look at her in the eyes, and I know. I had a friend who worked audio on a JLo project and she had him kicked out, stopped the whole production and everything because he looked her in the eye. I have like 15 more stories like this. This is something I've heard so much. You can't look her in the eyes. And there's a part of me that's like, okay, a lot of people look at you're famous and she wants to try to control it, but girl, it's too much. 
And now it's all coming back to Hunter. Here's another one. Takes a little this is me meeting long to get there. In 2009. So she met JLo at this uh, radio she event. There, she was she a, pretty working there. I'm trying to zoom in. Most waited in line to meet her because the DJs were going to meet her separately. So everybody else was like predominantly girls. From what I she brought her Selena DVD. She was all excited. Remember. And I go up to her. I'm like smiling, all red, like she could tell I was nervous. She barely even like looked at me, said nothing, grabbed the DVD, signed it, like put her arm around me, like she was like not really trying to like touch me. Touch her hand. Me. And that was it. She literally said nothing to me. And she was kind of like that with the rest of the line. But then when the DJs came out, were mostly males and obviously are like in charge of playing her music. It was like she came alive. <laughs> she was happy, bubbly, talkative, like a totally different person. I could overhear everything because I was in an office nearby and I was kind of bummed. As a Latina, I would love to have had an amazing experience with her. But at least I got a signed Selena DVD, right? Ouch. <laughs> this is the problem. I like, I've met The Rock. That's a per perfect example. Like when I think best celebrity experience, The Rock, he's such a damn pro. He knows who his audience is and he knows that audience will propel him. And he takes time, consideration. I've been lucky enough to meet him a few times and each time he's present, he knows these people are my people. Like if I don't give them that moment, they're going to hate on it. And it's a lot of work. I can see how much work that man has to go through. But in this instance, he would have been there. Hey, how you, oh my God, thank you so much. It's so lovely to meet you. Oh, let's, let's get a picture. You happy? Like there's just, hello. I, I meet celebrity fans. People think I'm a celebrity and I always make sure to make it a positive experience. And I get it. She does, has to deal with it a lot, but there's no excuse when you're there in an event like this. These are the people that work the radio station and you can't give them the time of day, J-Lo? This is a problem, girl. This is a problem. And this is why all of TikTok and everybody's jumping up and making all these claims because they're they're over it. Uh, one last one here that came in. What's up? This and she goes, hey. Now that's Tommy Davidson from In oh. Living Color who had like a relationship, knew J-Lo, and he tells this story really well in Cat Williams, but everyone's just echoing the same thing. But here you got a real person who knew her, celebrity, who's not really been mean about it, but made it clear she's not a friend. She does not, she completely ghosted me, even though we were friends when she was coming up. When she got big, she ghosted and ignored me like I didn't even exist. And he was like, I just didn't want to even engage or have the energy in my life. So, so many people have come forward Obviously to echo we this. I believe him because there are so many stories about JLo, but I have my own story. And um, I worked on the movie The Boy Next Door with her, and she played a teacher, and I was a student. And um, there was one day where we were filming outside at the school, and we were all on break, and she was sitting, like, across from me, um, kind of far, and she was sitting in, like, you know, the actor's chairs. And she turns around, and how he said that she went like, hey, and turned around is exactly like what happened to me almost, and it just reminded me of the story. Um, so she's sitting in the director's chair, and she's facing away from me. She like turns around, and she's leaning over the back of the chair, and she's like, Jerry? Jerry, is that you? And my friend was next to me, and she's like, oh, no, this is Gary. And she was like, oh, and turned around. <laughs> um, so that's J-Lo for you, you know? There's so many stories on TikTok like this where it's just a very, she just doesn't care about other people. And I get it. It's tiring to be a celebrity. I try to give all celebrities a, 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 that, that benefit, but man, they are piling on. And a little unfair, maybe, but there's just too many to ignore. So yeah, she's getting serious backlash. And the reality is, her sales aren't good enough for her to be this diva-esque. J-Lo, you need to have a whole PR makeover, a whole attitude adjustment, and you need to start proving this wrong. In order to fix this, my advice, go out there, start meeting celebrities and being overly gracious and kind and take more time. Invest in your fan base, your audience, prove them wrong. Let people come out on TikTok saying, actually, I met J-Lo. She spent like 15 minutes with me. She was so nice. If you want to be a real genuine person and have your fans not revolt against you, start treating them like fellow human beings and being kind and knowing that's who got you there. Not you. I mean, you did the work, you did work too, but 
the fans, the audience, that's who brings you there. A woman who works at a radio station has a Selena DVD is a fan, and you should be, as one Latino or another, inspiring her, lifting her up, giving her positivity, not... What is this? Not even a convention. You're going. This is a. I mean, I see that conventions too. You got to go through them quick. It's exhausting. And some people are rude. But my God, these situations don't sound like that at all. This woman just does not care. So there it is. She's out there trying to spin it. What do you think? Do you think the backlash against JLo is too harsh? I want to hear your thoughts before you leave a comment. Make sure you subscribe, please, for me. Hit that bell. See what I'm doing? Hit the bell. Click all alerts. Smash the thumbs up as well. And leave your comments down below. All of that helps the engagement. Share the video. Check out this morning's video. It's a big scoop. A big scoop regarding Diddy Gate. You're not going to miss it. So much more is coming. Hope you'll stay tuned. And thank you guys so much for watching. And yes, if you see me, say hello. I promise I'll be nice.